Hey, Julie here for seconds out with Calux. Just seen Vidal absolutely obliterate his opponent in round one, obviously here ringside. Finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, yeah. Finally, man. Well, not finally. Like, been a long time coming just seeing him back in the ring. It's really good to see him back, uh, like being active. So hopefully this keeps up now. Injury free, back, back room problem free, whatever it was. Management, whatever it was. See him back and soon. Whenever it is, I want to see him uh, headlining in this place, or even bigger, the O2 Arena, anywhere. But I'm really glad to see him back, and just a fucking phenomenal. Imagine he hit him full on, like he clipped the side of his face. I, I'm kind of glad that he did that, because um, the other guy was down for a couple minutes afterwards. But good to see he got up, good to see Vidal to get the win, uh, yeah. It feels almost like this is his first pro fight in a weird way because it's in London, obviously the last one in Manchester, Calm Brook Undergaard, still a massive fight. But for everyone to kind of be here in his hometown now, it feels like it's almost the first big one, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I've been to pretty much all of his fights that have been in the UK. Um, I'm, oh, I remember his first one, fuck knows, I can't remember where it was. It was somewhere in Europe. And there was just a couple of us in a small arena, way smaller than this, sitting on the side of the ring, watching him. I've tried to get to every single one. Unfortunately, some of the boys couldn't go to Manchester. I made sure I was at Manchester because this is going to be a journey to remember. Um, a lot of people know Vidal right now, but uh, uh, a lot more boxing fans are going to get to know him because uh, there's many more performances like that happening. But it felt like a, an amazing atmosphere in here tonight. And look, he entertained the crowd. There's many more to come. While I've got you here, obviously I want to talk about Anna Singh and Gib, Austin McBroom, just been announced. Will you be going over to America? And what do you make of the fight as well? Watch the what? What do you make of the fight and will you be going over? Yeah, look, um, I, have, I have no worries, I have no qualms. Uh, Gib is a phenomenal fighter. Uh, I know that he, he has a lot of experience now as well. There's a couple of fights. Um, he's ready. Uh, I'd love to go and actually watch it. I was just saying to JJ, I want to go see him spar because um, I've heard he's good now and I want to see the same with Gibb. Uh, but I have, I have no worries whatsoever. I'll be over there supporting. Um, I'll be excited to go back to Miami. I was just there for the F1. It's a decent place, you know. It's a decent place. And last of all, you got any juice on who JJ's fighting on August 26th? Have I got any? Any juice? Yeah, he's going to fight. Yeah, yeah, he's going to fight. Yeah, he's going to fight. No, 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 no. He's going to fight. Do you actually know who without saying? Yeah. I don't know. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, it's all good. And last of all, obviously, here tonight for Vidal. So we expect to see him like another three times tonight. It's a wild question to ask, but do you reckon he could get a world title in the next kind of two, three years? Um, there's not a doubt in my mind. Uh, he needed tonight like a good little knockout here in front of your home crowd when you're you know fighting in front of your home crowd for the first time. He's going to be so confident moving forward, and as long as the ball keeps rolling, there is absolutely nothing that's going to stop this guy. I've known him for six years now, seven years. One of the first people to know him in the YouTube community. The most humble, solid guy who deserves the world and will soon be on top of the world. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate your time.